<laughs> Y'all, my son just enjoy being out in public. He be running. He think he fast. Come on. <laughs> Let's turn this away. Let's get some fabric. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Are you shopping today? <laughs> You're a kitty. I was talking to her. She know I'm a regular, so we always have a conversation. But anyways, I'm just getting spandex for the back of the dress. Hi, guys. So today I'm doing a dress for a client. It's a birthday dress for a client in Jefferson City, Missouri. So this is pretty much everything. The front is going to be this beautiful bodice applique, and then the back is going to be a solid red spandex. Here I am preparing to cut the dress out. I normally cut the front piece on fold and then I cut the back piece not on the fold so that I can add a zipper. However, if you're not adding a zipper, you can just cut it on fold. Okay, y'all, so here I'm just sewing the front and the back together. I already did the zipper. Originally, I was going to do a full tutorial, but then I had to do something, and I came back to it and was just like, not today. Okay, now it's time for me to put it on the mannequin so that I can see how it looks. And here's the back view. I always put a zipper in the back of my dresses. Unless it is a low back or backless. Here I am preparing to see how the applique will look on the dress. All appliques usually come on mesh fabric and you would just cut that mesh off. And here's how it look without the mesh. So what you would do is pin it in place until you get it exactly how you want it. Adjust it if needed. Now I have it all the way pinned and I'm going to hand sew around the edges. And here's the completed look. It usually takes me an hour and a half to two hours to hand sew these on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like for me to do a certain tutorial, drop your request in the comments below.